This person is saying that he wants to learn how to be less toxic when his wife says something to him and he doesn't want to come off so defensive. And of course, if you knew her, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So I'm not saying that Eric is a narcissist, but me personally, as a narcissist myself, I've struggled with this in my own personal life. Because as a narcissist, narcissistic people tend to have these big egos, but the ego is big, but it's also fragile. It's like a glass tower that can be broken with a small pebble. And if your spouse, your husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, or somebody in your life is telling you that you've done something wrong, it feels like they're throwing little pebbles at that glass tower and it feels like it's going to break. You know, little pebbles have the word shame written written on them. S-H-A-M-E. So as a narcissist, the main thing that we try to avoid is shame. I don't want to experience shame, y'all. It is powerful. It is, I call it the shame monster. <laughs> so what I do when my wife is telling me something that I've done wrong or trying to course correct me or trying to hold me accountable for something, I don't, I try my hardest not to take it personal, not to try to take it as a personal attack on me. Just because I might've done something small wrong does not necessarily mean that I'm a bad person. Me forgetting to take the, to take the trash out does not make me a horrible, evil person. But that's what it feels like when somebody, when it's coming from somebody else. So I have to slow down. I literally have to slow myself down in order, in order to not react negatively, to not give the wrong reaction to something minor. Because when you're dealing with a narcissistic person, sometimes something minor, a minor correction can turn into a huge argument. And sometimes neither of you will realize how you got there. Like, how the hell do we get here? What are we even talking about right now? Because the narcissistic person or toxic person or whatever doesn't know how to react or take criticism correctly or to take accountability correctly. So my personal recommendation to you is just to, just to slow down a little bit. I'm not saying that you're a narcissist. I'm just saying slow down a little bit. Take a deep breath before you react and ask yourself this question right here. Is it worth reacting negatively? Is it worth starting an argument over? Because most times the answer to that question is going to be no. Because that's what I have to do personally. That's like literally I have to slow myself down, take a deep breath. And sometimes I have to separate myself from the situation before I react negatively, before I have the wrong reaction. And me separating myself from the situation is not giving me giving her the silent treatment. It's me separating myself from the situation for a little while. I come back. Hey, give me five minutes. I'm, I'll be back. And we've gotten to the point now where she understands that I'm, I'm going to come back. Normally, if I'm giving the silent treatment, I wouldn't come back. I would go downstairs, sleep down there and avoid the conversation totally. To punish her for trying to hold me accountable, to punish her for trying to tell me for trying to tell me something that I've done wrong or something that she perceived that I've done wrong. Sleeping downstairs and giving her the silent treatment allowed me to avoid the shame monster for a little while. So now I take my take more accountability on my own. Go downstairs. Whew, OK, I'm willing. I'm ready to talk. You know what I mean? And it, it, that works for me. It might sound childish to other people. I understand that dynamic, but this is how it works for me with living with narcissistic personality disorder. So slow down a little bit. Hope this helps.